Hello, I'm Chiku and this is my compost toilet and I'm so very glad that you are interested in this whole issue of compost toilets and ecological sanitation. This then is what the actual pan looks like. Mm. The cent central basin that you see is for the urine so you squat over that and pee. And on either side, you will see two covered holes. Those are meant to be used successively for fecal matter. So you squat over those and you poop. Um, let me just show you what it looks like. So basically it's a hole in the slab and over that you have placed a pan. You use each one till it is filled which for our family of two people takes more than a year and once after every use you throw a little bit of leaves or ash in it this is the little container that we use for uh, leaves we have a rather fine uh, rustic toilet paper holder next to the ashes there's absolutely no dearth of ventilation. This is where the current, uh, this is the room that's presently in use. And you can see that in about six months. It's only, it's, le it's less than half full. I'm clearly, I'm opening it and I'm squatting next to it. So there's way little smell. And what there is, is more like, uh, like compost, like leaf mold, rather than what you'd expect. So very clean, very doable, even when it is actually in use. So these are my pumpkins and the reason why I was so eager to get my compost out because pumpkins need a lot of they're hungry plants they need a lot of nitrogen they need a lot of compost and what better than good old humania you can take a look at it here this is what it looks like and there isn't mud because I just, I dug a hole, I deposited the mud elsewhere. This is composed and then I mulched it with some leaves. So, fantastic. Now, our toilet is set up for use with toilet paper. What happens if you prefer to use water for washing? The first thing to remember is that the wash water never goes and gets mixed with the urine because urine is inherently sterile if you keep it separate you can use it for irrigating your crops wash water which is contaminated with feces is has pathogens in it that needs to be kept separate and not handled as far as possible now so if you want to use water for washing you need an extra pan on either side which is this and uh, I don't have space in this toilet but it gets installed next to your pan or just below it and you move till you're squatting over this and you wash it so Practically the only daily maintenance task I need to do is to regularly empty out the urine container and use it to irrigate my plant. Now, uh, what I have found is for a family of two, using the daily output of urine in one watering can works just fine and as you can see, the crops are growing well. 
now this is our navla so what it is is uh, it's a fracture spring that has been tapped by uh, creating the small stone hut that has a very small reservoir from there we take a pipe down stream where we have a sand filter this is where the water that's collected from the naula comes to a sand filter and you'll see that it is absolutely dry it has been dry from third or fourth week of april and since from then till the monsoon starts we don't have any access to water and when you are living in a condition like that it's actually very painful to flush water away.